So the bubble CPAP relies the patient to be completely independent at this point. Most of the time the baby is breathing really independently, spontaneously on their own, and the machine is just helping to give them the support they need to keep their airways open, but they are fully breathing on their own at this point. And so what's interesting about the bubble CPAP and something you wanna know about the CPAP is that there is bubbling in it, and that's actually what you wanna hear to make sure that it is actively working. And so if you're not hearing that bubbling from the machine, then basically you wanna check on your patient to make sure there's a proper seal. And with a bubble CPAP, it's also like the CPAP where we're gonna be alternating prongs and masks on their face, and that way it gives the support the baby needs. And so anytime patients are on these kind of supports, you wanna be careful with the skin because a lot of times it is pressing on their face, so you wanna be very careful. Typically a baby can either go straight from a CPAP to bubble CPAP, and typically we can start off also as high as seven. Um, six, five is usually where we cut off as well, and then we go to high flow.